The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. After mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. When we establish a sound devotion to our Blessed Lady, it is only in order to establish devotion to our Lord more perfectly by providing a smooth but certain way of reaching Jesus Christ. The carrying of the cross combines two realities of the Roman era, a procession to war and a procession to celebrate victory returning from a battlefield. If Jesus went into battle as a king, his weapon was the wood of the cross. The journey to Calvary with Jesus carrying his cross is the journey into the battle of virtue against vice, a battle to topple sin and death, and a dwell between life and death. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus along the way, and Simon of Seren helps Jesus carry his cross. The road to Calvary was not a lonely journey for Jesus, but it was a painful one. The journey and the battles of life unfold in different shapes and dimensions for each of us. Our crosses might come as persecution, abandonment by loved ones, unjust suffering, accompanied by insults and humiliation. In the midst of all this, there is also the consolation that often comes from unusual and mysterious places, represented in the life of Jesus by the woman, Veronica, and the stranger, Simon. It is often said that if you want to know how much someone loves you, see how much they are prepared to suffer for and with you. We meet the face of Jesus on our journey every day. Let us not miss the opportunity to become the Veronicas or the Simons that lessen the burden of the crosses carried by those we meet along the way. Join us as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. <laughs>